Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in God of War PC. I'm really impressed with this port, honestly. It's working very well. I uh, I run it on three different PC, my main PC, my laptop, and also my other PC with my uh, 2070 NVIDIA card. And uh, yeah, the, this game run really smoothly. And also you have a couple of cool options for PC for your visual settings. But we're going to start with Windows first. So the first thing that you want to make sure is right game mode. Make sure that your game mode is at on for this game. Super important uh, for the past eight months. It's really good now on Windows. Uh, it doesn't cause any stuttering anymore. So super important to use that. Xbox game uh, game bar. Make sure this one is at off. This one cause stuttering. So super important to put this one at off. And for the capture for, from Windows, make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. If you're getting random stuttering in the game and you're you're using like some software that using um, that recording your clip your past like 30 seconds or one minute sometimes just disable that and do some testing it can also cause stuttering in video games in general another thing that i recommend is uh write graphic setting in your search bar if you have an nvidia card 1000 series or above you will have something called hardware accelerated gpu scheduling make sure this one is at on uh, it helps with bottleneck if you have something like the 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060. Uh, you can expect a nice 3% boost in your FPS. If you have something more recent, you will not see the difference. Also recommend to update your driver. So NVIDIA driver, NVIDIA, uh, AMD, NVIDIA, and also Intel. Go in their website and make sure that you have the latest driver. For In the 4K resolution, you can get a nice 7% uh, boost with AMD. So... Always like big AAA games like that, just like update your driver, it will help you a lot. Another thing that I recommend is write your energy in your search bar. Go to power option, make sure that you run something like balance or high performance. Uh, on a desktop computer, you will not have any issue with that, but sometimes with the laptop, when you plug and plug, plug and plug in the wall, uh, it stays at power saver randomly and you're losing performance when you plug in the wall. Power saver should be when you're using the battery on your laptop. So, and sometimes you ha you have an even more profile here because Asus have his own profile and stuff like that. But always make sure that you're using something like balance or high performance. So now, uh, uh, one more thing yeah, I can say about overclocking. I have two different guides on my uh, channel how to overclock your CPU and GPU safely. Uh, if you want to look at that, you can get a nice 3% to 15% boost in your FPS. It really depends on your component, your thermal, so a lot of different variables, but it can help. So now let's open the game and we're going to optimize it. So now the graphic parameter. So the first one that we want to go to is the display. So the video device, make sure that you have your uh, graphic card here. I know a couple of folks who are using a laptop. Sometimes they're using the iGPU and they're not using their dedicated GPU in their, pro, uh, in their laptop. So super important to see your uh, GPU here. After that monitor, don't touch that. Display mode, you just have two options, window and borderless. I'm going with borderless for this one. Uh, no issue with it. Uh, aspect ratio, I'm going auto. V-Sync, I'm putting this one at off because I'm using the free sync on my monitor. So if you have free sync and G-Sync, go with V-Sync at off. And if you don't have those technology, honestly, you should maybe put it at on because um, I saw a, a lot of tearing when I was playing the game and you don't really care about input lag. Uh, it's not like a competitive game. So uh, you can definitely put your VSync at on to remove uh, the tearing in your image. After that, for the F FPS limit, I'm putting this one at off because I limit anyway my FPS with my AMD software. You can go until 120, so that's not a lot. So I recommend just to use your software if you want to limit it. Don't use that. Uh, for the motion blur, um, I'm putting this one at zero. I really don't like the motion blur effect in any game, so that's why this one is at zero. Film grain, I feel like in tree, it's giving me maybe a little bit too much um, noise in my image. I'm gonna probably lower it, but no impact in your FPS. It's just question of preference here. After that, in the advance, if you have an NVIDIA card with the reflex low latency, definitely activate this. And now this resolution uh, scaling. So the first one is DLSS. Honestly, if you have DLSS, go with Ultra. It's really good. You're going to have a really decent ima image and you will have a nice boost in your FPS. So if you can use that, super important to use it. I did a test on my 2070. 
and it was really good for the fidelity fx super resolution this one i don't recommend it too much glitch uh, when i was uh, using it and also i didn't see an, a boost in my performance and sometimes i was losing fps when using it so it's not good for god of war just put this one at off and if you don't use the lss and fidelity fx your render render scale just go with 100 percent make sure you have the one for one you don't want to downscale this game uh this is pretty much last resort after the old guide if you're still struggling with your fps maybe you can go at 90 percent here but i don't recommend it for your image visual so now let's go back graphics so we're going to use the preset custom the first one is texture quality it really depends on your amount of vram this game everything max I was able to do 6.2 gig of vram so if you have a 4 gig vram video card you will definitely lower your texture so just look here vram use they are telling you uh the, the amount that you have and the amount that you're using um just let 10 percent empty if you can't don't go too crazy and just stack it <laughs> to your max uh because it can cause also stuttering after that for model quality i don't recommend ultra and uh, you have original the, the one from the ps i recommend i i saw a one percent difference between original and i so that's why i recommend to go with i and is a tropic filter you can definitely go ultra didn't see any difference between low to ultra in my fps and the image was a little bit better for shadow this one you can get a lot of fps if i compare ultra to low you can get a nice 60 percent boost in your fps and at original it's a 50 percent boost i recommend original because the image quality is a lot better than low for your uh, shadows and you're getting a decent boost in your fps so that's why this one i recommend shadow uh again if you're playing on an igpu maybe you will go at low but normally at original you should be fine reflection pretty much the same thing i recommend original Again, if you're struggling crazy when you're seeing reflection on the floor and you're, you're seeing like big drops in your FPS, you can disable it if you want. It will help you a lot, but you will have no reflection in the game, so it can look flat. So really personal preference here and where you are with your guide and the amount of FPS that you have right now. Atmospheric, you have um, ultra to uh, low. I recommend original for this one. I just saw 1% difference between low and original. And um, with I, the, the thing is, I was losing 2 to 3% uh, FPS. And when you're moving, you don't necessarily see the difference in your image visual. So that's why I recommend original. You're going to get a little bit more FPS and you will not see the difference between original and I. The last one is ambient inclusion. This one, I was kind of surprised. You have three different parameters. Um, original to i when i go to i i just saw one percent difference in my fps normally it's a lot more so that's why i can recommend i definitely for ambient inclusion it helps a, a little bit and this game doesn't have like really good ambient inclusion but still uh, i recommend i for your Im image visual and if you're struggling with original or i if you're struggling with i you will struggle with original so just disable ambient inclusion it will help you like a five percent boost in your fps but the game will look very flat again so this one i recommend i so this is pretty much uh the, the, my guide for god of war if you have any question just come in in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can also monitor maybe your thermals uh, for me my uh, gpu goes very high when i play this game as you can see right now i just use 71 percent of the my gpu and I'm, I'm at 77 degrees so maybe you have issue with thermals and throttling I uh, mean, maybe, maybe that's why you're getting some drop. So this is pretty much it, guys. Peace.